Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Alright, I've got a bunch of things to interrogate. Interrogating the Heavy Floater will be done extremely quickly, and all of the others will also be done very quickly. What else, what others are there? I guess there's only one more after this, there's the Interrogate the Muton, but then there's the Heavy Floater Autopsy. All of these are going to take less than one day. And I don't believe I'm building anything. Nope. Just, well, I guess I'm building satellites, which will be done in seven days. In seven days, I'm going to have five satellites, which is going to be very, very nice. Shaped armor will be coming in in ten days, and in thirteen days, we have the Council Report, where hopefully I won't lose any more countries. Because that would be very, very bad, because I've already lost way too many. Way too many. I've lost five. That's not good. Apparently, if I lose, if I lose three more, I'm guessing I'll probably lose the game. Which would really, really, really suck. So let's keep waiting. Well, that should give us a research credit, right? Yeah, flight research credit earned. So I'm guessing that's going to apply to things like the fighter craft and stuff. Let's interrogate the muton. Let's get all these research credits before we start actually researching stuff. But let me check. What? What counts as flight? I don't know. Alright, if the Berserker gave me a research credit to armor, I wonder what the basic muton is going to give me. Hmm. Back to waiting. Oh my god, not another Exalt operation. They've stolen $38. Alright, fuck you, Exalt. It is getting down to the wire. It's getting down to the point where we're just going to... We're going to find out exactly where their HQ is. But not yet. We need to be patient. Okay. Once again, I'm going to send in Gary Warner. Let's give you an of rest and an alien grenade. Up to five damage. Or no, actually, it's not up to five damage. It's exactly five damage, which is pretty damn good. All right. Go have fun. Imagine the brave new world will face if the aliens succeed in their efforts. Oh, they literally stole all of my money. They literally stole all of my money. <sighs> Fucking exult. I guess it's a good thing I didn't have any more, because if I had more, they just would have taken it. Muton. Plasma weaponry. Perfect. I'm just doing plasma weaponry right now. That's perfect. All right. Heavy floater autopsy. A massive variation on a previously identified specimen. This is the heavy floater. As you can see, the aliens have made substantial improvements to the armor and weapons systems available, while removing some of its exposed vulnerabilities. An extremely dangerous combatant. And back to waiting. Okay, here we go. Oh, this isn't even, um, this isn't even an alien abduction where you get to pick between the different three. This is just one place. Okay, very difficult. Well, we know we have to do it. Aliens are terrorizing Hong Kong. Hong Kong, here we come. All right, who do I take? Well, this is a very difficult mission, so I definitely don't want to take complete newbies. I definitely want my two mechs, so let's talk. You know, I'm going to put my mechs together. They've always been apart. But my mechs need to be together. Mechs need to stick together, you know? See? They're friends. Actually, you don't have your stuff equipped, do you? Oh, no, you do. Yeah, you're good. Right, and you are good? Yes, you are. And now, I finally, for the first time, get to use the Mech 3. He has the... The Electro Pulse. It's going to be fun figuring out how to use that. Alright. And then of course I need a support. Have you gotten up to the point where you're a good medic yet? Um, where is it that you get the thing that gives you like four more healing points? 
I guess it's right at the end. It must be at the end. When you reach Colonel. Hmm. Alright, but at least he has the super smoke. So, I'm gonna take him. Yeah, I'm gonna take him. He's not the highest level, of course, but... Well, he'll never be if I never take him. He's good enough. And that's the most important thing. Okay. Of course, I need arrow. As always. And Finn, I think I will take you. Yeah. I will. Yeah, you're almost the highest level. And you have the lovely Shredder Rocket. And then I guess I need a Sniper. Spectre or Isley? And they're both the same level, I believe. I think. Are they the same level? We're about to find out. Captain? What about Isley? Actually, Isley might have... Might have risen up in the ranks. She has. Low profile. Okay, let's take Spectre. Get her some more experience. Spectre. There you are. Alright. Make items available. Let's make sure everything is correctly equipped. You have my one plasma rifle. Titan armor. Good to go. Good to go. Gonna leave you with the arc thrower. So we can capture some aliens. Because you have the long legs. You have the sprint ability. Titan scope vest. Titan scope vest. Heavy laser. Yep, yep, yep. You need good stuff. Titan laser sniper rifle. And scope and vest. Think I'm good to go? Yep. I'm good to go. Alright, Hong Kong, here we come. Operation a Patient We're Gift. To China for the, next <laughs> the aliens are continuing their incursions into highly populated areas. We can't allow further civilian casualties to spread panic in the region. Oh god, we gotta deal with civilian casualties. Great. Patient Gift. That sounds... I don't know. It still sounds vaguely ominous. I swear all of the... All of the mission names are ominous. But, but Patient Gift. Hmm. Big Sky. Squad is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your fire out there. We have civilians on the ground. Repeat, civilians are in the AO. I know, I know, I know. Alright, scouting full cover. Let's go here. Yep. Some mutons, I think. Those are some mutons, and also a ton of civilians that are going to die. Yeah, at least that civilian is going to die next turn, no doubt. Can't do anything about it. I suppose you could even smoke... Well, I can't even reach them, but... I guess you could smoke civilians if you wanted to, maybe? I guess that would work. But I'm not gonna do that. Let me see how big this map is. It is freaking huge. It is absolutely massive. Let's put my Rocketeer in position here. Stepping off. Of course, using a rocket when you have civilians did it to ensure the safety of is probably not a great idea. I do want to move him into place for next turn. Let's move him here. Hopefully he does not have them detect him. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Okay, good, good, good. I thought the view was obstructed, and it is. Alright, I'd like to give her a height advantage, but that might be ill-advised. 
and half cover does not become full cover her for her because she's not high enough level for that. Oh, she could even discover enemies over here, actually. She could, yeah, I'm not going to do that. No, too dangerous. I'm just going to move her here. She'll have a... Yeah, she'll have a good view of all of them. Ah, I don't think he can shoot over... Over this... Can he? Uh, I doubt it. I'll move you there. Maybe give the civilians a fighting chance with a little bit of covering fire. They're still gonna die. They're still totally dead. Although he does have a plasma rifle, so he can do... Uh, oh yeah, the Electro Pulse! Ooh. Okay, so it's not, um, it's not a ranged attack. It's an AoE attack that originates at your position. Inflicting five damage. Robotic units are also disabled for one turn. I thought it's supposed to um, stun. Damage all nearby units and briefly oh, and only and briefly disable robotic ones. Okay, so it's especially good against robots, but otherwise you would need to be very close. Stop! No, don't fire. Let's move you in a position to shoot next turn. Alright. You're about to hear some screams. Yep, they're dead. Ooh, we got a reaction fire. Reaction fire? Reaction fire, Blenda? Blenda? Please don't destroy cover. Good, you didn't. You you missed. It's okay, I still love you. You know, I, I blew up Blenda. Like, pretty much the first time I took him out on the field. I blew him up with... Oh, there we go. I blew him up with a rocket, so it's only fair that I'm lenient. Amazingly, none of these civilians died. Wait a minute, do you have the thing that allows you to shoot more if you're within four tiles? Where is that? No, I never got that, did I? Nope. Right, well, it's probably my best bet just to use her rapid fire. Yeah, let's just do it. Critted. <laughs> Apparently, he can't jump up. His legs are too short. Who needs experience? Well, hold on. You're. I should probably use you. Yeah, I should use you to get that guy. Because your chance of killing him is pretty high. So who needs experience? Blunda could use some experience, as well as Finn. Let's use Blunda. I want to see this plasma rifle in action. And apparently I'm not going to get to see it. Le never mind, let's use Finn. Ah, there we go. Oh, look at it, it's just resting. It got so tired, it just had to... It just had to take a rest. Have a lie down. Alright. See, see if I can take care of you. Yep. I actually probably should have blown up its cover before doing that, but... Eh, it's fine. Okay. Move up here, not too fast. But nonetheless, move up a bit. Ooh, there's a bunch of civilians here. Okay, well, I'm probably not going to get any aliens by going here, so let's just go here. You're safe. Ooh, I'm going to lose so many civilians. <laughs> there's almost no way to actually save them all. It's, it's practically impossible. I mean, you saw that one of the ones that died was over here in the dark. And that was only with one turn. It's it's pretty much impossible. You'd have to get very lucky, basically. Um, 
Um, I'll just move you up into half cover. It's fine. And I will move you up as well. Please don't discover aliens. Ah. You're safe. Get moving. You're safe. Get moving. I love John Smith's voice. John Cotton. What the fuck? He just... Did you just die? What just killed you? There's something outside of the... Outside of the wall? What the hell's out there? Well, I'm creeped out. What, what would be back there right at the borders of the map? There's something in that alleyway. How far can you throw a battle scanner? Not far enough. Actually, you might be able to do it from here. Let's do that. I love dim legs. Eh, I've got two of them. I'll use one. It's fine. That's what I keep saying. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So... I'm learning about how the battle scanner works. It doesn't actually reveal the entire bubble. It only reveals what it can directly see from where it's going to land. Which, since it's blocked by the wall, is absolutely nothing. Great. I was misled by the bubble. Move up here and get you. You're safe. Now get moving. Get lost. I don't want to see you around here no more. Right, there's a bunch of civilians here. Full cover, full cover, full cover. What the, what the hell is the nearest full cover? This doesn't look good. That's the nearest full cover. behind a tree. Okay, I'll take it. Is that... Oh no! The computers are on fire! The ancient computers that are somehow CRTs, even though I think we're living in the modern era. And in fact, it looks like they've blue-screened. Not the computers! Anything but the computers. Hey, there's some LCDs. It's weird, they have a mix of LCDs and CRTs. Hmm. to look down this alley a little bit. Hmm. Let's take a peek over here. I want to know what the hell's back here. What the, What killed it then? What killed the civilian? Strange. I just... I don't know if you can really overwatch anything from there, can you? Can you? Not really. Unless something comes down the alley, which is probably not going to, so... Let's just move you back. I should probably move inside of the building. Or I could go down the alleyway. I don't really know. Let's go inside the building. Heading out. I don't think we're alone out here. No way, we're not alone. Oh. Yeah, we're yeah, we're we're not alone. <laughs> Poor civilians. Poor civvies. How many are in here? There's one. There's two more. There's one on the roof. What are you doing on the roof? I guess this is actually a pretty good place to be, actually. Unless there's floaters about. Or seekers.
Let's just move you up. Ah, but where? Let's go here. Nope. Way to maintain stealth. Let's get both of you. I believe that will get both of you. Still maintaining that stealth. You're good. Oh, seriously, I'm, I'm touching the line. I'm touching the line, game. It's not good enough. Fine. I'm on it, Commander. <laughs> I like how everyone busts down doors, even the civilians. Hmm. Something over here. Oh, there's a lot over here. I've already lost four civilians. Great. This is going well. I don't think that's going to get the civilian, but we'll try. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please. Nope. I really want to get these civilians. I'm not even sure exactly what getting the civilians does, but it's obviously important in some way. So I'd like to save more than I lose. Actually, I don't know if that's going to get the civilian. Okay, it did. Whew. All right, let's take a look at what's over here. Can I throw a battle scanner? You apparently can. That is impressive aim. I'd like to see you pull that off, but apparently the game... Oh, yep, it's going to show it to me. Good job, damn. Okay. Excellent. So... Okay, this is going to give me a chance to test out something that I've been wondering for a while. And that is, would Close Combat Combat Specialist activate and allow you to get three shots off? I believe it would. Because I'm going to be within four tiles of him. So I could go here, remain invisible so he won't detect me, then use Rapid Fire, shoot the Berserker twice, and then when he goes to move, Close Combat Specialist is going to activate, giving me three shots. I think it'll work. Let's try it. Oh. Oh. Um. Maybe we shouldn't try it. Shit. Hold on, can I blow you all up? Six damage. Ah, no. Fuck. Okay. And I can't move her now because she will be discovered because her starting position is in the line of sight of five enemies. All right, here's what, here's what I'm going to do. See, what, one, one thing I'm worried about here is that I believe, from what I've heard, the chrysalids are perhaps the only enemy that can actually discover you through mimetic skin. So they might discover her, but they haven't yet. So she might be okay? I don't really know. We'll see. Alright, 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 alright. Is this going to be far enough away?
Because I want to blast them next turn. I don't think that is going to be far enough away. Let's move here. Right, so next turn I'm going to attempt to rocket them. And then get my mechs close enough that I can just kill them with grenades. That's the plan. Ooh, and my pulse thing. Where's where's John Cotton Kenny Smith? You are far away. I need you to sprint. Man, I'm so glad I have Mimetic Skin in that Battle Scanner. Like, if I didn't know this information, I would have just waltzed out there and got myself blown up, probably. Or bitten to death. Or have my fa face smashed in by a Berserker. Where's my sniper? Spectre. Oh no, I already used her. Yeah, I already used her Battle Scanner. Okay. I should Overwatch, just in case they happen to come in here. Just in case. And you. If I move you up here, they're going to discover you, so no. Just move you up. To get into a battle-ready position for next turn. Alright. I'm not going to put you on Overwatch, because then it's sure to activate. And I don't want it to, so just hunker down. And please don't die. Oh god, close combat specialist might activate. Oh, thank god I didn't. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, what what are the crystals gonna do? Please don't move too much. Please don't move too much. Please don't move too much. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, well, everything's fucked. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> we just blew up all the things. But didn't even kill a single thing. Right, well, there goes all my information. I don't even know where the fuck the chrysalids went. They just fucked off and left. Okay, interesting. 100% chance to crit. That is beautiful. Right. Need to kill you. But with what? Let's get Blunda some experience here. But not before... No, I don't want to move him up. Shit. Yeah, just take it. You're dead. Alright, this is going to give me some crystal corpses. Which is something that I very much need because I need to get chitin armor. Or chitin armor plating, whatever it's called. And I just haven't had enough corpses to even get one. But now I have them. Alright, let's just do this. Let's just move you up. Uh, no. Let's just take the shot now. Yeah. Ah, I missed. Oh, and it critted. Yeah, you angry? Actually, why didn't Close Combat Specialist activate there? That's weird. That's exactly the sort of situation where it should have activated. Huh. On my way. Alright, the chrysalids are probably gonna get all up in my business. Business next turn. Let's not flame. That's stupid. I could shoot a very dangerous grenade. That's probably unwise. Can I kill that Berserker this turn? I might not be able to. This is bad. Let's go around the back here. Oh, fuck me! 
This is horrible. He doesn't even have a shot on the Berserker. Right. Fuck the civilians. Fuck all of the civilians. We need to survive. So, to that end... Oh, what the fuck do I do? I want to smoke everyone. I really want to smoke everyone. Oh, I can't even do it because I just used Blunda's turn. Oh boy. This isn't good. In fact, this is very, very bad. Which is exactly what this isn't good means. I can do four damage. Even two grenades is not going to do it. What's the point? Two grenades will not do it. I can do five and then four damage. Five with this and then four with a grenade, but again, that's not going to do it. What's the point? I could flame it. <laughs> I could kill it with a flamethrower and a grenade. It's rather dangerous. But... Screw it. I need to protect Arrow. Is it going to come towards me? Please don't come towards me. Oh. Oh, close... There we go! Okay, apparently close combat specialist decides when it wants to activate. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's rather fickle. Right. Let's go ahead and move you back. You're a little bit too far out there for my taste. Put you into Overwatch. I'm gonna need it. Boy, am I going to. And Overwatch. We're gonna Overwatch a lot. Alright. So, let's see. There's an un there I think there's two Chrysalids. I probably know I'm here. There's at least one Muton and three Heavy Floaters. You hear that? And it starts. Oh, well, at least you blew up some of the cover. Even though he didn't hit a damn thing. Who's... What the... What the hell was that? Oh, was that a civilian? Was that a civilian? What was that? Okay. That went exceptionally well. Yeah, that went really well. What even happened to this muton? It's not even there anymore. Somewhere back there. I guess it ran away. Let's just move you up for next turn. Seventy-two, not bad. I could also blow up all the cover here, for the most part. Well, at least I can blow up the paintings on the wall. Not sure about the walls themselves. Let's... Let's get Blunda some experience here. Moving. Move him so he's not flanked. And shoot. Excellent. Getting some use of that, out of that plasma rifle. Who else needs experience? Finn, you need some experience. That's perfectly fine. You have bullets warm. Take another shot. Yeah. Unfortunately, yes, she is. Okay, um... 
Here's kind of a nice position because she can cover that entrance with a overwatch, but she can't really see over there all that well. So, I'm gonna move her up. Okay. And just hunker down. Then it's more overwatch. So again, screw the civilians. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. Where? Nah. I've already used most of my people's turns. I'm not going to have half of my group move towards the civilians and the other half just staying put. That's stupid. Sorry, civvies. Come on. I dare you. Are they all running away? I swear they're all running away. Okay. I guess we need to move... <laughs> I guess we need to move up. Oh, hello. Ah. Well, that's a job for running gun if I've ever seen one. Unless... Nope, can't see him. Can't see him. Okay. Run and gun time. Goodbye. Now she needs to reload. Alright, where are the other civvies? There's one on the roof, but that one seems to be perfectly fine. So I'm just gonna leave you. Oh, there's still those two. Which again, seem to be safe. Yeah. I'm just... I'm not even gonna worry about the, civ the civvies, frankly. I'm just going to kill the aliens, because as soon as they're dead, the civilians are fine. So, let's just move up. On my way. Ooh, what have we got? Ah, chrysalids. Ooh, I'd really like to capture a chrysalid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's try to do this. Let's try to capture a chrysalid. Moving. I need to get you reloaded. We're green to go. Okay. Hmm. Overwatch or reload? How many shots do you have left? You have, like, two shots left. I'm gonna overwatch. Alright, hopefully we don't kill all the chrysalids with our overwatches. Because I really do want to capture them. Come on, come on, come on. Good job. Blunda, you have ceased blundering. I'm proud of you. Of all the people to shoot, you shoot that instead of the mech. Okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I like how that heavy floater keeps peeking around the corner. Right, well, I could capture you. But I already have one of you, so why do it? Probably not worth it. I don't know, I mean, hmm. Yeah, what the hell, let's do it. Let's get ourselves another heavy floater. Weird. I don't remember this ring being so big. Huh. Roger that. 80%. I'll take it. <sighs> okay, then. I guess it's a shotgun to the face. Yes, sir. 
Ooh. Actually, she needs to reload. Yeah, let's not do that. Moving to position. There you go, you have plenty of ammo. Alright, we really need to move before we lose these civvies. It's a shame she can't jump on top of these boxes. On top of these racks. I don't know where I should put her. She's actually at a pretty good location right now. I'm going to leave her there. Reload you? Okay. Okay, I knew you'd come back, or never... Oh my god. Why do they keep leaving? It's like they're scared of the fact that I'm going to kill them. I can't imagine why. How are you still alive? There's been like two chrysalids that have just run by you. Apparently they, they've just left them. Oh my god, you can run so far. Again, I want to capture the chrysalids. Era, I don't suppose you can make it over there? Of course not. But you can take a peek around the corner. Nothing. <laughs> you have no ammo. Shit. Alright, well, let's go stand by the flames because it makes you look like a badass. Even more of a badass than you already are. And let's reload. You are a mech, so you can go get that civilian. And take whatever punishment might be doled out to you. <laughs> you need to leave. Oh, I like this. There's all this full cover. Very nice. Um, let's get some Overwatch. Ah, it's really no good place for her to be here. It's a little bit closer to the front line than I'd like, but... The view is just too obstructed for a sniper to be able to do much in here. Alright, I need you close to the front line again because you have your arc thrower, of course. So I'm going to put you here. Not quite close enough to the entrance to trigger any aliens out there. We're probably going to come running back in from the door, I, I assume. Yep, I thought so. And that's what the Overwatch was about. Why, why did you run past? I don't... What are you doing? I don't understand their tactics. What are they doing? What? Okay. Right, well, can I arc throw you? Wait, can you... I'm not seeing the ring that shows the arc throw thing. Can you not arc throw chrysalids? Apparently you can't, because there's no ring. Okay, well, let's give Finn a bunch of experience here. Unless, maybe I can now? Hold on, I need to be sure you can't do this. No. Huh. Okay. It looks like there's probably just one chrysalid left. So, there's three civilians left. And in fact, I know where every single one of them is. There's one over here and two back here. I guess maybe the chrysalid's going for them. Maybe? 
I'm pretty sure the crystal is the only thing left, so I'm just gonna start moving over here like crazy. It, it can't do that much damage. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Actually, wait a minute. Did I ever kill that Muton? The one that ran away? I don't think I did. Where the hell is it? I don't know, but let's just run towards the civvies. She's there. We're gonna save you. Maybe. Hopefully. Probably. Aye, aye, Commander. Heading out. Still haven't gotten a chance to use this, this electro pulse yet. Hello, please don't jump up on the roof and kill a civilian. Oh no, no, I can't get to it in time. Right? Yeah, yeah. The question is, can I get to the civilian in time. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yep. Here we go. Tyrone Moose M to the rescue. Kablamo! Oh my god. <laughs> That civilian is so grateful to me right now. Did that civilian just jump off the roof? She had to have, otherwise she couldn't have... Wow, okay. Apparently civilian's in like... I think she's in high heels or something, in like a business skirt thing. And she just jumped off the roof. That's gotta hurt. You don't exactly want to be jumping off a roof in general, but especially not in like high heels. Right, so there's two more over here. I really, really, really want them. So let's just sprint up. Running. Yeah, we might have to race the Chrysalid, depending on what it does next. I don't know if it's going to retreat from Tyrone uh, M, or if it's going to go to the next civilians. I'm still pretty sure there's one other muton left, hiding out somewhere in the dark, watching. Damn it. Already there. You know what, she actually has a pretty good view of the battlefield from there. So just in case that Muton decides to pay us a visit, let's overwatch. And if the Chrysalid jumps down, I'm pretty sure the overwatch is going to activate. Activate, activate. Oh, close, <laughs> close comp, yep. Yep, Spectre and Arrow, close combat specialist. It's dead, it is so dead. Goodbye. Just, I love the delay. There was so much tension, then it just came from off screen. Like, you knew that Arrow, I mean, uh, Spectre, was aiming her shot, leveling her rifle at it, looking down the scope, and then, pew! That was beautiful. <laughs> Will I get you both? That, that's probably gonna either get both of them or none of them. We're about to find out. Wouldn't it be funny if there's a cyber disc back here? You're clear. Go. Ah, got one of them. It's gotta be that damn muton that's still left. Move order confirmed. The muton's gotta show up at some point, though, because I believe the AI their their mission in the level is basically to get the civilians. So it should be encroaching on our position here. It should be coming for the civilian. Time 
Time to motor. I'm actually going to leave you on the roof. Actually, let's go take a peek. Are you back here? You are back here. What are you doing? Fuck off. It's intimidated. Or rather, it wants to intimidate us, I think. It's not working. You're kind of outnumbered here, buddy. Alright, maybe I can capture it. Not that I need to, but it wouldn't hurt. Who's left? Ah, Spectre. <laughs> I could kill it with a pistol. I, I could kill it with a pistol, but... No. Let's go here. <laughs> Get a little, a little wee height advantage here. Oh, that wasn't even a sprint. It wasn't even a dash. Let's put her in half cover. He's probably going to shoot at Spectre, I would think. Yeah, of course. Oh, impressive. I don't even know if I need to kill it. I, yeah, I can't really get even near it. To try to capture it. I don't care enough to capture that little muton. Let's just grab you. It doesn't even matter where I put you. In fact, let me see if I can end this in a way that... Well, let me just try to get XP first. Who needs XP? You do. You're not going to be shooting a rocket there anytime soon. You're not going to be able to get a shot. No. It's going to be Spectre, I'm sure. Where's Finn? No, that was Finn. Where's, um... Oh, bl Blunda, I just moved. Okay. Well, comes down to Spectre. She does actually need the experience. So, let's go for it. Goodbye. Chalk up another one. Hmm. Saved 11 out of 18. Rating? Good. Yeah, it wasn't great, but it was, it was okay. I saved more civilians than I lost, so... That's a win in my books. Maybe not in the books of the civilians that are dead, but in my books it's a win. Great work, Commander. Mm. I hope all of our Promoted. Go this way. Low profile. Partial cover, count is full. Let's see what we hauled in. Heavy floater corpse, muton corpse, berserker corpse, chrysalid corpse, illyrium, alien alloys, weapon fragments, and some meld. Not bad. Not a great haul, but not bad. Panic in China has decreased by three. Panic has decreased across Asia. Sweet. Remember, we will be watching. So how are we doing on the panic? Ooh, panic in Asia is very good. It's down to the minimum. Of course, we have a bunch of panic in other places, but I have five satellites coming very soon. All right, let's see what this heavy floater autopsy gets us. Advanced repair project available in the foundry. What does that do? Um, reduce the repair times of our fighter craft and shiv units significantly. Oh my god, I don't care about that. My fighter craft are not out of order long enough for another UFO to even pop up, and I don't even care about the shivs. Okay, what next? Um, I think I should just do plasma. Yeah, I should just do plasma weapons. Especially since they're so damn fast. Look at this. Okay, cannon. That. That's for my ships. That's not the most important. Plasma pistol, I don't care about. Plasma Sniper. Yes, please. Heavy Plasma. Alloy Cannon. Okay, so that's a Sniper. That's the LMG equivalent. That is for... Uh, that's the Shotgun. That's the Upgraded Shotgun. And this is probably for the mechs. No, no, this is for the planes. The <laughs> planes. The aircraft. Maybe this would get you both LMGs and new mech weapons. I'm not sure. Let's go with Heavy Plasma, though. It's weird that the, the Alloy Cannon actually takes longer to research than the other stuff. 
I guess because it's technically not plasma, maybe? Hmm. Raven 3, status ready. They want four laser rifles. Five engineers for four laser rifles. Ooh. Okay. I don't even need them anymore, because I use plasma rifles. That's, that's totally worth it. That's a great deal. They've got to be cheap by now with how many engineers I have. <laughs> Look at that. I would only pay two. I would only pay um two laser rifles. Which is less than 40 credits for five engineers. And I get five engineers from building a workshop, which costs over a hundred. Not to mention the power and the time and all the other resources and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's an amazing deal. Alright, we're going to sell some stuff. Oh, we even have some damage stuff. Perfect. 70 space bucks. Laser rifle. Excellent. Now that gives me 46. This morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. I guess that further reduces the prices of stuff. <laughs> now it's only 55 for a satellite. It started out at 100 at the beginning of the game, so it's nearly half price. That's awesome. Yep. So at 50 engineers, I believe I can build another satellite nexus, which I really want to do because satellites are extremely important. Yep, 50 engineers. So I'll be doing that soon. Heavy plasma, heavy plasma, heavy plasma. In addition to manufacturing our own heavy plasmas, our soldiers should now be able to use any that they recover from the battlefield. Heavy plasma available for manufacture, particle cannon available for manufacture. Okay, so particle cannon is probably the mech weapon. Yeah. Heavy plasma is the LMG equivalent, and particle cannon is probably the mech equivalent. And then some stuff with the shiv unit, which I don't care about. Heavy plasma. Mm-hmm. Shiv plasma. Cool. Particle cannon. Yep, mech suit. Unprecedented focused energy output. Mm-hmm. Its heat dispersal would be highly dangerous to an unmodified soldier, but a mech suit is capable of mounting the necessary systems. Let's do the plasma sniper. Unfortunately, I can't afford the weapons unless I sell a bunch of stuff. Hold on, maybe there's stuff I should sell. Is there stuff I just don't need? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Okay, well, I don't need this... <laughs> I don't need this many laser assault rifles. Yeah. Let's get it back down to seven. Because someone might need these at some point, maybe. Maybe. That's 50. It's probably not even enough to buy one weapon. No. We're here to track alien activity, not investigate haunted houses. <laughs> what? Hey, I'll investigate haunted houses. Sounds more interesting than aliens. I really honestly I shouldn't sell stuff. I really shouldn't. Well, okay. I have a lot of sectoid corpses gathered up. Let's get it down to 20. Yeah, get that back down to 20. Um, let's take these exalt things down to 5. Alright, see what I can do with that. I don't want to hear anything else about forming an ace patrol. We don't have time for alien dogfights. Aw, but it'd be so much fun, Central. Come on. What was I going to check? I was going to check... Uh, oh, I want to check what Chitin plating armor stuff costs. Because I believe I can build one now, now that I have four chrysalid corpses. Yes. 56. I can only build one, though. 
And in reality, I want four of them for all of my troops. Alright, plasma. The plasma cost. Jesus, that's expensive. I can't even buy one. Holy crap. Oh boy. Do I have any of the appropriate plasma weapons in storage? I might. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this chitin plating. And let's see if I have any. Plasma weapons. Other than the one plasma rifle. No, I don't. Damn. Okay, it's fine. Okay, satellites are gonna come up in one day. This is gonna be awesome. Commander, okay. Satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Here we go. And how many days do we have till our council report? Seven days. All right. Obviously, I need to put it in the places that have the most panic, and it just so happens there are five places that are yellow in panic. And I just happen to have five satellites, so this is perfect. Oh wait, I... Oh wait, I can't put an additional one? I thought you could put multiple satellites into one place. No, that's for the, like, the continent or the area. Right? The bonus? It is. Okay, shit. Wait a minute, do I even... I can't even deploy any more satellites, can I? After I do these five. One, two, three, four... Four. I actually have more satellites than I can use. I think. Shit. Well, okay. Satellite launched. Let's put them everywhere. At least we've got some vets on our side. It takes a serious pair to go face to face with one of those things. Reward plus eight engineers per month. Holy crap! My next my next council report is going to be very glowing. Satellite. Future combat. All projects in the Foundry and the Officer Training School cost 50% less. Holy shit! That is amazing! I guess I can't get the other bonuses because unfortunately these fuckers have pulled out. Why did you have to pull out? Return to base for debriefing. <sighs> yep. <laughs> My monthly income is going to be like a thousand. A thousand space bucks. A thousand simoleons. Okay, well, let's, let's go take a look at the foundry. God, look at how cheap this stuff is. Wait a minute. Alien grenades. You know, I think a upgrading alien grenades actually might upgrade the grenades that the mechs shoot. I think it might. Maybe. Oh. Advanced servo motors. I can afford it all. Also, this stealth satellites. Upgrade a satellite network to mimic the alien communications to make the satellites much harder to detect if the aliens were to go looking for them. The problem is, though, don't you want to shoot down the UFOs? Don't you, don't you want to shoot them down? So why would you want to stop that from happening? I don't know. I think it's about time we did the improved medkit, though. Let's do that. Yeah, now that I know I don't need more satellites, I really don't need to worry about the other stuff. Ah, oh, fuck, I need more weapon fragments. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. What else can I get? Anything good? Don't care, don't care. I don't... Unfortunately, I don't use the flamethrower much at all. As cool as it sounded, it's just... Not particularly useful, in my experience. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. Thank you, Dr. Shen. Covert operation time, yes. Okay. Confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Well, it's an exalt mission, so of course it's pretty easy, so I don't need to take everyone. Who should I take? Let's take Smith. 
to take someone in place of M for now, because unfortunately, sorry Smith. I mean, not S Smith. Sorry M. Sorry M, but Smith is just a higher level than you in terms of his mech suit. Who should I take? Let's take Acheron. And I'm going to take Blunda, and I'm going to take Finn. I'm going to level them up. I think I'll still take Arrow. Yeah, I'm gonna still take Arrow. <laughs> I always like to have her in her memetic skin. Do I have any other snipers? I don't think I have any other snipers. I think I just have two. Yeah, I've got so many freaking assaults. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna take her. Yeah, this will be fine. Unless... Assault, assault, assault. I really don't want to train any more assaults. I seriously don't. Nah, I'm just gonna take Finn. Okay, equipment time. Acheron, let's get you some... Wait a minute. Where's the... Oh, I don't have enough... I don't have enough Titan armor. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Carapace armor's pretty good. Laser. Rocket. Scope. And... Oh, yeah. Vest. I'll give you chitin plating. Gives you a greater chance of surviving. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. You should be good to go, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think we're good to go. Yep, got my arc throw and my medic. Everybody else has a standard loadout. Let's go. Do do do. Operation Detecting Blind Empire. Cell based in Canada. It looks like our operative will need assistance in securing the enemy data. All right, which kind of an exalt mission is this? The timed one or the untimed one? Our field operative was detected by exalt forces while in the process of mining some valuable intel from their comm relays. Strike One will need to protect the operative while they finish decrypting the exalt data from the other relays. If the operative goes down, we'll lose any chance of recovering that intel. New objective received. Okay, untimed. Oh, look at the pigeons. Step number one, collect intel. Let's see, where am I going to move my operative? Oh, you are far away. I guess I'll go there first. So let's move on down the, down the alleyway. No need to be particularly cautious here. Again, it's an exalt mission. Stepping on. Let's take cover behind a trash can. Ten four. Let's go ahead and put you here. Oh yeah, I forgot I don't even need the arc thrower because it doesn't even work against them. I mean, it does, but they just kill themselves, so... Kinda no point. Yes, sir.
Right. I just need to protect you. So let's move you into full cover where there's no windows. Oh, hi. <laughs> I kind of want to come from the roof. In fact, I think I'm going to. Moving out. This is going to be fun. Next turn, we're going to pay them a visit. Yes, Commander. to move her over here because then she'll discover them and they will discover her. So instead... How can I throw it on the ground? No. Let's move a little bit closer. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Gather a little bit of intel here. Ah... I'm glad I did that. There's another group. Hunker down. Yeah, they don't seem to actually move. Alright. Can I launch a grenade from here? <laughs> yes, I can. Oh boy. That's going to be fun. Should I do it? I should give my newbies as much experience as possible, so that would be you. Ah, shot's blocked though. Let's do it, it's too much fun. I have to do it. It's going to be a surprise for them. I thought you like surprises. Apparently they don't. Oh, you want to go up to the roof? You know what that puts you in range of? My sniper. You're dead. Unless you're too low of a level to be seen. Oh shit, you are. Damn it. Ooh, maybe I could... No, I can get one. Damn. Well, you have... What is it called? Cover... Uh, low profile. So this will be half... Uh, full cover for you. So why don't I just move you up? She has a height advantage, and she's in full cover. She'll be fine. There's probably no enemies back here, but I'm going to play it safe. Just hunker down. Don't want to move her just yet. Ah, if only she could shoot twice. 
Alright, let's just move you here. Should get a nice flanking shot. And... You're dead. Actually, I should have done rapid fire. Yeah, because it doesn't cost anything, and you can use it again next turn. And it would have guaranteed its death, pretty much, whereas that one was not quite guaranteed, although it was very likely. Unless it was 100% chance to crit, in which case it was guaranteed. Shows you some experience here, Acheron. Nice, nice. Good to go. Just move you out here. I know it's in half cover, but it's fine. Get a nice flanking shot here. Goodbye. <laughs> I love the way he flipped around in the air. Acrobatic, even in death. Get you in a position to use a rocket next turn. They're trying to pull back. Fall back all you want. Well, they're really all retreating, aren't they? What you, ooh, you're getting close to my other agent over here. That I don't like that. Alright, I'm gonna move you here into full cover. Kind of in this little overhang part, so the sniper should not be able to just shoot him or shoot her from the roof. All right, so it's a bunch over there. Can I, can I shoot another grenade? Actually, wait. I could probably move and then do it. I'm on it, Commander. Oh hi! I can't see much down there, but I don't care. Goodbye. Oh my god, I feel bad for the Exalt. Let's get started. Try to get you some experience here, Acheron. Yeah, you're not gonna blow up much, but you will kill one person. Let's do it. Oh my god, you missed! <sighs> it's okay, it's okay. You're a newbie. I get it. Now there's another sniper around here. Let's do this. I want to see the other two, or actually, no, the other three. Alright, there's another one back there somewhere. Who can you see? Ah. Can I pay him a visit? Yes, I can. Let's not do it just yet, though. Let's do this. And if they want to pay her a visit because she doesn't have Overwatch on, keep in mind she has Close Combat Specialist. If that guy comes around the corner, he's dead. <laughs> Dashing, damn it. One square too short. Just Overwatch. Take the shot. 45, not bad, not good. Yep, didn't think so. Close combat specialist! There we go, you're dead. What if you made a squad entirely out of arrows? Like, just assault with the same class build and everyone with mimetic skin and close combat specialist and all that. Me 
You want to come around the corner too? No? Okay. <laughs> I think... Oh no, you won't be flanked there. Yeah, you'll be fine there. Our operative is near one of the Exalt Com relays, Commander. We just need to activate it to acquire the residual data. Oh, wait a minute. I can kill you with a grenade. Down, Commander. Our operative hacked the yep. system and decrypted some of their data, while also disrupting Exalt's communications. We should continue looking for any other relays nearby. <laughs> oh. I don't get to use grenades much, but when I do, it's a lot of fun. Hmm. As great as this would be, it'd be kind of stupid, because Arrow's right there. Shall we pop around the corner and say hello? I think we should. Oh, hi. Can I do another grenade? Nope. All right, let's let's put him here. Yeah, I'll put him in Overwatch. Actually, I actually think I want to move her over here. Well, nah. Your move. Of course, he's retreating. As any sane person would. We're picking up hostile contacts moving on strike one, Commander. <laughs> Close combat specialist activated with a pistol. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. One point of damage. Oh, shit. Okay, she's in trouble. She needs to get out of there. Alright, let me see if I can get a rocket over there. Nah, I think we're too far away to do a rocket. Unless... Ooh, can you get both? She can get one. But not both. I don't like any of these positions. I really don't. If we move her here, she's probably going to get flanked. She's definitely going to get flanked. Alright, let's move her here. Want to move our people into position for some overwatch here. There now. any overwatch here. But I could put him right up here. It's definitely got to be intimidating to look up and see at the top of a building a gigantic pink mech holding a railgun. Move you up a little bit. Oh, you can even shoot. 63. That's not bad. I'll take it. Whoa, didn't expect to get a death out of that. Cool. Gonna hide behind a trash can. Again. Oh, 
Come on around, I dare you. Nope, too smart. <laughs> the blunder just blows up the entire wall. Like, who cares about line of sight? Just blow the fucking wall up. I agree with you, Blunda. <laughs> he goes back and triggers another reaction shot. Oh. More covers being blown up, which means there's more chance of these reaction shots being triggered. Can I get another one? No. Forty-five. Hold on, what's the range on this collateral damage? Is it unlimited? Nah, there's a little bit of a limit. It's okay though, no matter. I'll just move him closer. Wait, can I not blow up his cover? I don't think- no, I can't blow it up. Never mind. Hmm. I could kill him with a grenade, but that's my last one. That's a waste against one enemy. That's a total waste. All right, let's give Acheron some experience. Where's Acheron? There you are. Oh, well, I can't give you experience. Unless no, I could if I move you here. Thirty-seven percent. That is terrible, but I'll take it. Adjusting aim. Forty-three. That's also terrible, but I'll take it. And it was successful. I'm about to start keeping score. I've already been keeping score. Do some Overwatch. I know there's at least one Exalt just hanging around somewhere. All right, we're gonna be moving this way next, right? Actually, no. That one's dead. I don't need to hack it. In fact, these are the only two ones we need to do, right? Yeah. But still, I think the other result are this way, so let's move. Let's move over here. Let's cover this alley. Where should I move you? I want some eyes over here. Your move. We've got more hostiles closing on the AO. Well, we're gonna get some reaction shots here. <laughs> Four. <laughs> oh no, why did they have to all trigger on the first one? Damn. I think that was four reaction shots. He is very dead. He is double dead. That's all the data we're going to get, Commander. Now we just need to get our operative to the evac point for extraction. We have a new objective. Or we could just continue to kill them all. Because it's fun. Oh, this is a perfect time to give Acheron some experience. There we go. Who else needs experience? Finn, you could use some, I think. I don't think you're the highest level yet, are you? I don't think so. Let's just hang out here. Locked and loaded. Reload. Take your time. No need to rush. Back in. They don't even seem to be doing anything. Alright, evac zone. Let's move. Get some eyes on the evac zone from this corner if I can. Ah, I can't quite make it. Half cover, half cover, half cover. Uh, that'll have to be good enough. Oh shit! I think I moved her to the wrong spot. I did, but it's okay. It's still in full cover. Oh, do you really think you're gonna... He's trying to get a flanking shot on us. He thinks he's gonna bust through the door. Oh, it's so cute. How wrong he is. <laughs> John Cotton Candy Smith has something to say about that. Electro pulse systems 
I want. I just wanted to use that. That's totally not the best time to use it, but still, it was fun. Did I actually take anything? Like, do I have to wait to use that again? I don't. Huh. Moving out. Running. Evac zone looks clear. Time to motor. Roger, Dodger. Evac zone no longer looks clear. But it's okay, because he's gonna die. Oh, never mind. This one's going to die. You'd think you would get a nice flanking shot on me, didn't you? Nope! You brought a laser rifle to a laser sniper fight. There's one more behind there. Can I do anything about it? Maybe. Just That's maybe. Oh, I saw it. I think I saw it. Didn't it pop up? Yeah, it popped up. Come on. There. Firing on <laughs> Don't know how much damage I did to him exactly. Six. And now we can see him. Your cover looks a little worse for wear there, buddy. Not sure if I can shoot him from here, though. I might be blocked by the car. No, and I have a flanking shot. Cool. Dead and gone. All right, I think next turn we can. No, we probably can't quite get to the evac turn, uh, the evac zone next turn. Actually, no. Yeah, we can. We definitely can. Man, I swear, these these Exalt missions almost feel as if they're made just to test your new equipment without worrying about the enemies killing you too much, because they're so easy. They're way easier than the alien missions. By a huge amount. Out. Yeah, all the Exalt are dead. Alright, moving on up. Oh, I can't quite make it this turn. Almost. Location confirmed. I'm going to make a tea with my people. On the move. Because I can. Moving out. See? A gigantic human T. At the evac zone. Well done, Commander. Our operative is safe, and the new exalt data is ready for analysis. Oh never mind, I keep forgetting you only need to get your operative out. That's it. We're good. Okay. Cool. Damn, we can't skip the, the plane ride back. Our troops are making it look easy out there. What? Let's hope they don't get too cocky. After all that, not a single promotion? Seriously? Wow. 
Stingy. Laser, 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 laser. No plasma, unfortunately. F five weapon fragments? Man. These exalt missions do not give you much. That is a terrible haul. Ooh, I get a bit of money. Ooh, what is it narrowed to? Let's check. Let's see, what, what did it just do? I don't know which one it just did, but anyway, there's one, two, three, four, five left. Or wait, one, wait, I miscounted that. One, two, three, four. Almost. We're gonna get you, Exalt. Alright, I can spend some money on some stuff. I don't need more satellites, obviously. So what should I get? Alright, now I have enough alloys, I think. That's what I was missing before. To get this stuff. Or knows weapon fragments that I was missing, and no, I don't. I still don't even have 20. Man. What's the most useful? I'm thinking advanced servo motors. That would be pretty nice. Hmm. No. I should spend my money on the plasma weapons, which I totally forgot about. Yeah, let's grab a ha let's grab a heavy plasma. And let's see what that thing can do. Let's go compare its damage. Soul, let's take a look at you. I haven't used soul for a long time. What is her level? Yeah, she's maxed. Oh yeah, it's because she doesn't have the shredder rocket. That's why I haven't used her. Ah, I still wish I went for the shredder rocket. But anyway, compared to the laser... Oh, it's occupied. I'll just use the exalt heavy laser. Same thing. So medium, 570911. Medium five seven zero nine eleven. Medium five seven zero nine eleven. Holy shit, that does more damage. That does a lot more damage. From five seven to eight ten. Wow. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep waiting to get more money to buy whatever the plasma equivalent for the mechs is. I need two, which is gonna be pretty expensive. Yep. Alright, well, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.